we're used to seeing things from a particular point of view. That is, from a particular frame of reference. And things look different to us under different circumstances. At the moment, things look... You look peculiar. You're upside down. No, you're the one that's upside down. No, you're upside down. No, I'm not. He's the one that's upside down, isn't he? Well, let's toss for it. All right. Okay. You lose. He's the one that's really upside down. You better come into my frame of reference now. My frame of reference was inverted from what it usually is. That view of things would be normal for me if I normally walked on my hands. This represents a frame of reference. Just three rods stuck together so that each is at right angles to the other two. Now I'm going to move in this direction. You see the frame at the same spot on your screen, but you know I'm moving this way because you see the wall moving this way behind me. But how do you know that I'm not standing still and the wall moving? It was the wall that was moving. Now the wall has disappeared and you have no way of telling whether I am moving or not. But now you know that I'm moving. The point of this is that all motion is relative. In both cases, I was moving relative to the wall, and the wall was moving relative to me. All motion is relative, but we tend to think of one thing as being fixed and the other thing as being moving. We usually think of the Earth as fixed, and walls are usually fixed to the Earth, so perhaps you were surprised the first time when it was the wall that was moving and not Dr. Hume.